now we've got fire engines turning up. So, yeah, this could be interesting. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. First day back after a week of holiday. I'm on my way to Bradford, got about three hours to go, so I best get cracking. When I left the yard this morning, SatNav said it's gonna take just under four and a half hours to get to the delivery site, so I was gonna be able to make it without needing a break. Highways England had just been up the hard shoulder on the M1 and apparently there's an incident up ahead. I'm now sat in the traffic, which has now put me to over four and a half hours in total to get up there. So I'm gonna to need to have a break before I get there. Luckily I did leave this morning with enough time to get up there with a break factored in, but I'm now not moving. So the time's just gonna get further away so I could be late for my booking slot. Cleared that bit of traffic as I joined the M1, but I hit another couple of patches of traffic making my way up as well. The first one was around the M18 and then there was another one just after that as well. So that means I am going to have to stop for a break, for definite. I'm not going to be able to make up the time because I've still got 50 minutes to go. I say I've got 50 minutes to go, uh, I got a message from my planner saying uh, they changed the delivery address to somewhere else. So that's further away, a little bit annoying. So I was only going to be about now about 30 minutes away, but now I'm 50 minutes away. So I'm definitely going to need a break because I've only got 30 minutes of drive time left. So it also means I'm going to be very late for the delivery. But traffic and them changing the delivery address, part of that's not my fault really. I couldn't have left any earlier this morning because where I was on holiday last week, my keys were left at work. So someone else could use the truck if they needed to or if it needed to be moved for whatever reason. So I had to wait for the person to come in this morning who had access to the keys. So I could have started any earlier. So it's not really my fault. Arrived at the delivery site and unfortunately because I'm late, there is no space for me. So I've now got to sit and wait for a bay to become free, which hopefully won't take that long. Once I've done that, it is straight back to the yard. I've just had a call from the planner and yep, yeah, that's still the plan. So yeah, all I need to do now is sit and wait for a bay. Oh, and then wait for them to unload it, which will probably take an hour or so. Finally leaving the delivery site. I was there for just about three hours in total. Unfortunately, that wasn't three hours continued on a bay. I had to wait to get on a bay, as I said. Once I got on a bay, the reason it took so long to unload, it was uh, double stacked pallets. And they couldn't drag them off because of the setup of their loading ramps. So they had to take them off individually. So yeah, pallets, so not too many of them, but just meant it took even longer. That was after they'd had their break and their lunch and all of that sort of stuff as well. So I'm a little bit further behind than I ideally wanted to be today, because it's now half past one. It's just about five hours back to the yard at this time of day. And I need to have a 30 minute break as well. I've done that because I'm not gonna make it back to the yard on one lot of driving, but if I've had a break while I'm up there 15 minutes, obviously I've had longer, because I've been able to get out and use the facilities, all of that sort of stuff. It means I've only got to stop for 30 minutes on the way back. So yeah, back to the yard tonight. If I go that far, just have to see. I had 
my brake, reset my drive time, still making my way down the M1. Got about two hours and 15-ish minutes to get back to the yard, but I've got an hour and 35 minutes of driving. I can go into a 10 hour drive to make it back to the yard, but I don't know whether I'm gonna need 10 hour drives at the end of the week because I don't know what I'm doing just yet. The other thing is I run out of working time at uh, six o'clock tonight on a 15 hour day. And my ETA back to the yard without any traffic is currently 10 to seven. So yeah, do I pull up short and run back into the yard tomorrow morning to do my trailer swap? Or do I push it on and hopefully make it? I think we'll have to see what the traffic does as I join the 8.34 and make a decision from there. by on the 8.34 last night, about 20 minutes short of making it back to my yard. So the 20-25 minutes that I lost yesterday morning because of the traffic and the accident, and then making me late for my delivery slot, meant that I didn't make it home last night. So for dinner last night, rather than going home and having a nice cooked meal, I had a horrible fast food burger which is not my favourite thing really. And yeah, slept in a lay-by. Yeah, it just goes to show one little thing messing up in your day can completely mess up the rest of the day. Luckily though, I'm gonna make it back to the yard, still in plenty of time to uh, do my trailer swap and make it up to the delivery. It's only about five minutes away from my yard. And then it's back to the yard, trailer swap and down some horrible country roads to do another collection. Local delivery done in Andover. Now I'm on my way to Romsey. Get my collection there and that's for Bradford on Avon just outside Bath. Once I'm done there, it's to Swindon for my load to go to Chesterfield, or certainly that direction anyway. Uh, yeah, not the best road to get down to Romsey. I can't come from the south of Romsey because there's some low bridges that I can't get through. It's too tall and yeah, horrible country roads to get down to Romsey from Andover. So not enjoyable, but it is what it is. This week with traffic is not turning out to be good. Just coming down the A303 and I get to the roundabout before Stonehenge and the A303 onwards is closed. Not sure how far down it is closed until, but I can't really divert any other way around it other than coming through Lark Hill, which is really, really busy at the minute because the 303 is closed. Yeah, just not ideal, not ideal. So yeah, making my way through loads of traffic. Hopefully I can get back onto the 303, the other side of Stonehenge, and we'll be all right from there. Arrived at my collection in Swindon, and it's the Blue Pallet place. You know, the place where you can lose half of your lifetime waiting in a queue. It's according to everybody else. I've never been here before and I've been here maybe half an hour now and I'm already at the front of the queue. So unless it takes them ridiculously long time to load up with the pallets, then I'm gonna be in and out of here quite quickly. I must have just called it a good time because yeah, I don't know what everybody else is moaning about. I don't think that's that bad. Hour and 15 minutes in there. Got my paperwork, no issues, loaded. Don't know what everybody's problem is. Now I've got a load of traffic getting back to the M4 out of Swindon, but that's all right. 
going to be heading up the 419 towards the M5. I'm going to stop in Sirencester and have a break, get somewhere to eat in the little services that's just there, and then make my way up. I've still got plenty of drive time and working time. I've actually got enough of both to make it all the way up to the delivery site tonight, but it's not due to be delivered until 8 a.m. tomorrow. So, yeah, find somewhere to park up. Not 100% sure where, but see what's about when I get up there. Made it as far as Hopwood Services, just been in and used the facilities and now I'm making my way back to the truck. But the good thing is, is I didn't actually have to pay for parking tonight because I managed to park in one of the laybys just outside the services. So yeah, didn't need secure parking, so didn't come and have to come in and pay for it. And yeah, I've managed to get in and use the facilities, which is always a bonus. I say gonna be starting about five o'clock tomorrow morning. Can't get into the delivery site till about eight o'clock tomorrow morning and yeah it's about an hour and a half drive up there so i will be a little bit early but i will find somewhere to stop for breakfast on the way up as well nearly back at the truck just got to get myself over this fence i don't know if you can see that up the steps And we're at the truck. I seem to just be encountering delays this week. So got to the delivery site and they were all on break. So yeah, I had to wait for them to have that half an hour break. Then of course they then had to unload me, which is fine. It is what it is, it's things that are out of my control. People are entitled to their breaks, I'm not complaining about it, but obviously, yeah, just been nice to be able to get there and get unloaded, because of course I didn't need a break. I've only done an hour and 20 minutes of driving this morning. So yeah, I had a 15 minute break whilst I was waiting, and now I'm unloading and making my way to the bagging plant and that's to be loaded to go to Wimborne and maybe I might be able to get that delivery done tonight. Possibly, I don't think I will though. I think by the time I'm loaded and have done the five hours-ish drive that it's gonna to take to get down there, I think they won't want to accept the delivery. So yeah, it'll be first thing Thursday morning, I think. To get to that collection, I've just driven down probably one of the best roads I've driven down in the truck. It was the 5012. Um, yeah, it's right by where they hold the Why Not Festival. And it looked like a fun road to drive down in the car, but yes, it was a good road to drive down in the truck as well. Yeah, in the middle of a gorge valley type thing with the trees nice and close. And yeah, and then it opens up into the Derbyshire Dales. It was wonderful. So yeah, probably the best road I've driven in the truck. Now I'm on my way back down towards the A50, I think it is and then I'm going to be making my way to the M1. I've got about an hour and 15 minutes of drive time left before I need to have a break. And I also need to get some fuel as well. So those are on the top of my priorities before I head down towards Wimborne. I'm not going to make it there tonight. Well, I can make it down there tonight, but I'm not going to be able to deliver tonight because they're not going to want me turning up at five o'clock, certainly after five o'clock by the time I've fueled up and had my break as well. So. Yeah, give them a call on the way down, find out what time they accept deliveries in the morning and then plan accordingly to stop and start in the 
haul in with enough time to get there for when they open. Welcome brake services on the A50 at Derby and yeah that pump is like the slowest pump ever and it cuts out after 300 litres which is a little bit annoying but it is what it is. I had to go back round the roundabout there and come back into the services so I could have my brake because if you've been into those services before you will know they are tiny and now I'm down on the A43 and making my way down that towards the M40. Still not decided exactly where I'm going to stop tonight. I might make it as far as round of services. I might stop in the New Forest. Still, still don't know. Can't deliver till about half past seven tomorrow, and I don't know what I'm doing after that delivery. So I have called my boss, and I'm just trying to find out from her. Just wait for her to call me back. as far as Roundham's last night, stopped there, decided I wasn't going to push on any further, had something to eat, sort myself out, I got a nice early night. Started this morning about half past six, done my daily check, all of that sort of stuff, got myself ready to go, and now on my way to Wimborne, due there about half past seven, which is when I was told I can be uploaded, so hopefully that's the case. Called the boss after doing that delivery this morning. She's told me to come back up to the yard, which I've done. I've dropped the trailer. And then I've been and picked up an empty skelly trailer and I'm off to the docks for the first time this week. Which should be good. I've got to stop and get something to drink on the way down because I'm a little bit thirsty. And that should work out just about right for me to get down to the docks for my uh, 11 till 12 booking slot. I'm currently due down there at about five to 11. So yeah, that should work out perfect. Not sure what I'm doing after that um, because I was supposed to be going up to crew this evening but because today is Thursday and that's the night that I go home to have my kids uh, I'm not doing that someone else is doing that instead so yeah not sure what I'm doing it's all changed Finally Friday and after my second dock run yesterday I went home and yeah went out with the wife for dinner because the kids were out so that was very nice. Now I'm in work it's just gone three o'clock in the morning I'm hitched up to my trailer and I'm going to Wales twice today so yeah I potentially won't make it back home tonight but with the fact that I'm leaving so early, I will miss a lot of the traffic. So fingers crossed, I actually do make it home tonight. I have got a 10 hour drive left for today as well. So yeah, it's increasing my possibilities that I will make it home. But if not, I will probably be maybe an hour short today. So yeah, hopefully I'm not. Mm -hmm. 
first container now delivered in Wales. Now to make my way back towards the yard. Need to stop for a break on the way and fuel. I've got enough fuel to make it to uh, Magor Services. So I'm gonna go in there and then I'll pull into Lee Delamere and have a break there. That will mean I reset my drive time with enough time from there to make it back to the yard and back up to Wales to the delivery site again before running out of time and needing to reset my drive time again. But I've lost out on some time this morning because I went to the first delivery site where we normally unload and there wasn't space there so I had to drive around to the other delivery site and uh, yeah, get unloaded there. So I've just lost out on time. So I've increased my chances of not making it back because of that. So yeah, realistically, I am not gonna be making it home tonight. Making my way back to the yard, had my 30 minute break in Lee Delamere services and now I've come to a standstill on one of the back roads. Not exactly sure what's happening, but there's a load of traffic, a load of smoke up ahead, and yeah, it's just not good. I can't turn around down this road and avoid this, so just gonna have to sit and wait, find out what's happening. So, yeah, lorry on fire. I've now been turned around at the roundabout. And now I've got to make my way back a different way. So, yeah, a little bit inconvenience. Definitely not making it back home tonight. Definitely not making it back. Finally on my way back towards Wales. Had a 15 minute break in the yard whilst I was there as well, once I'd done my trailer swap and now got to say get back to Wales I've got to have a break on the way up there as well another half an hour because to get back from uh, Lee Delamere services where I had my last break normally takes about an hour and 20 minutes and it's ended up taking me just over two hours so I won't make it back up to Wales as I planned without that extra break so that's got to be done it also means because of the, the diversion because of the lorry fire uh, I'm going to run out of drive time closer to the delivery site when I'm coming back than I thought I was going to be so yeah longer drive for me in the morning Right, that is me done for another week. Thank you very much for watching the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.